2x plus y equal to 4 is a linear equation. As it is linear, its graph will be a straight line. How do we plot the graph though? To draw any line, we need a minimum of two points. And to find the points, we can substitute different values in place of x and get corresponding values for y. Let's say x is 1. y will be 4 minus 2, which is 2. 1 comma 2 will be the coordinates of one of the points. Now let's try x equal to 2. We get the value of y as 4 minus 4, which is 0. So 2 comma 0 will be the coordinates of the second point. With these two points, we can easily draw a line for this equation. On the coordinate plane, where will 1 comma 2 be located? 1, 2. Here, this will be 1 comma 2. Similarly, 2 comma 0 will be located here. And this is the line of 2x plus y equal to 4. Just to verify if this line is correctly drawn, take another point on the line and see if it satisfies this equation. Take this point for instance, 0, 4. If we substitute 0 in place of x and 4 in place of y, we do get a 4. It satisfies the equation. There is an interesting way to write this equation. We can transpose 2x to the other side and write it as y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. But how does it make a difference? Why write it this way? Writing the equation this way gives us two important things. First, it gives us the slope. Minus 2 is the slope here. And it gives us the y-intercept of the line. Here 4 is the y-intercept. Y-intercept is the point at which the line intersects the y-axis. Isn't it amazing that just writing the equation this way gives us two things straight away? The y-intercept we can see is 4. But let's verify the slope. It's y minus y1 over x minus x1. If we consider these two points, we get 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 2. That gives us minus 2, which is the same as this equation gives us. This is called the slope-intercept form. The general form is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Where else can we apply this concept? Look at the next equation. We are asked which quadrants does the line of this equation pass through. Give it a try. Which quadrants does the line of this equation pass through? The best way would be to write this equation in the slope-intercept form. Rearranging the terms, we write it as y is equal to 2x plus 7. 2 is the slope and 7 is the y-intercept of this line. Let's look at it on the coordinate plane. The y-intercept is 7. It will be somewhere here, 0, 7. The slope is positive, so the line cannot be like this or like this. These lines have a negative slope. It has to be tilted in the other way. It will look a bit like this. That's all. We can see that the line passes through the first, second and the third quadrant. We didn't really need to draw the exact line to get to the answer. The slope-intercept form was enough to tell us the quadrants through which the line passes.